Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go. I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, and I'm super excited that you are taking time out of your crazy busy schedule to join me on this episode of Breaking Down the Best, where today we're going to break down the following standard. It is MA.3.AR.3.1. MA, that stands for math. Three for third grade. AR is for algebraic reasoning, and 3.1 is today's standard that we're tackling. By the way, this document that I have marked up all over is not something that I have created. This is a document, a resource that the Florida Department of Education provides that breaks down every single standard, and I'm just walking you through what I do when I'm analyzing the standards to create the resources that are aligned to the best standards that I'll show you that you should have access to with your membership anyway, but I'll show you what you have access to for this particular standard very soon after we go through this, okay? Okay, so this standard says to determine, that means yes or no, is it or is it not, and explain why, whether a whole number from zero, not from zero, from one to 1,000 is even or odd. So that's what our focus is. Is this number even or odd? and why. We're going to determine this using place value and recognizing patterns. Okay, so the connecting benchmark would be multiplication and division. Um, I guess so because you're seeing patterns of multiples of two, so I guess that kind of connects in there. 2.2 and 2.4 there. And But the real alignment comes with our vertical alignment in second grade, which is odd and even numbers. They represent a, two, an even number with two equal groups or equal add-ins and an odd number as two equal groups or two equal add-ins plus one left over. So if they had seven, they would show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or three plus three plus one to show that that is odd. And they can apply what they've learned in second grade to third grade where we kick it up a notch. And in fourth grade next year, they'll use this knowledge of odd and even to help with prime numbers, with composite numbers, and with factor pairs. So instruction should connect this year multiples of two looking at the ones digit and saying that if the ones digit is zero, two, four, six, or eight, which are the multiples of two, then it is even, which is what we do in the videos. If a number is not a multiple of two, then the number is odd. And I've said here, yes, because this says that the beginning understandings about multiples will help students explore factors and divisibility with prime and composite numbers in grade four. So this will connect. For some common misconceptions or errors, students may confuse that, an, that in an even number, the ones digit indicates whether it is a multiple of two. For example, students might look at this number 883 and see that because there's the digit eight twice, that must mean that they're that it's an even number but when really we need to be looking at that three in the ones place to determine that it is odd and i wrote here math misconception mystery because this is showcased in that resource in the silver membership that i'll show you in a little bit so just remember that and i'll show you where it is 
applied. This is great to look for. I would definitely suggest looking at the strategies to support tiered instruction, but we're not going to go over it in this episode. But lots of good stuff and, and representations. Okay. And I love this. Is the number 461 even or odd? That's determining it, but then the standard also says to explain how you know. So, which is great for a question like that, but also we should expect them every time they're determining if it's even or odd, ask why, listen to their reasoning to see if it's about that one's place being a multiple of two. Okay, that's a pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at what you have access to with your membership. Here we are at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Let's click members enter here. Taking on the best. Which grade? Third grade. Which strand would you like to explore? AR. Algebraic reasoning. And this is our odd and even standard, which is AR.3.1. Click that. And these are your bronze resources. Well, it is resources because you have a video and you have a printable right here. So this video lesson will walk students through odd and even numbers. You are able to share it by clicking the link right here. You can copy and paste the link in the address bar. Just know that I know I'm aware that a lot of counties will block Vimeo videos, which is the platform I use to house videos. So if that is a problem, just download it and re-upload it however you need to, okay? And, or if you're showing this as a whole group, you can just pull up the page, that's fine. This is the printable for today. And you can see, we're talking about what are the first 10 multiples of two, and then show giving um, definitions for even numbers and odd numbers. Is this number odd or even? Explain. See, we're tackling that standard head on. Is it and why? Is it odd or even and why? I have intentionally put 1000 because a lot of times students get confused with zero because they say, well, two, four, six, eight, zero is not an even number when really this is. And we, we walk through that in the video lesson. Okay, those are the bronze resources. If you have the silver plan, you can click here or the gold plan. You also have access to this too. You have your printables and your math misconception mystery video and your answer key is right over here. So I'll show you what the problem is like for the math misconception mystery. These are all the printables for this standard. So this is the video lesson that we just saw with the bronze membership. And then we've got extra practice and then a math mission. This is a pretty straightforward skill. So not a whole lot was, was needed to be involved here, but this is a great math mission. It says use the cards to create four numbers that have three digits each. Two of the numbers must be odd and two of the numbers must be even. So using these cards, they have to create two odd numbers, one right here, one right there, and two even numbers, both three digits each. And then here is one where you're looking at what Kelly is thinking. Kelly creates number 823. She says the number is even because the digits eight and two are both even. Explain why, explain why Kelly's thinking is incorrect. So you can see how the math mission takes the learning and the thinking and the responsibility for the student up. And then this is the math misconception mystery episode with a table. And the students will, when you play the video, I walk you through the whole thing. And I'll say pause now and solve the problem on your own. Not really with that voice, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so students will solve the problem either independently or with a group, whatever you want them to do. And then they will watch as four characters. And these characters are just me dressed up in silly costumes. These four characters will solve the problem. Three of them will make a mistake that students commonly make and one of them will have the correct answer. So it's awesome because students really have to listen to what somebody is thinking and it creates a safe, fun place to showcase mistakes and how to help somebody. And this is the detective report. The most reasonable answer belongs to character what and why, character who and why. And then let's look at the other air, the other characters and evaluate the work that they did. And of course, the answer key provides my version of the detective report. So you can kind of know where we're trying to get students to think. 
Okay, that's the silver. And then if you have the gold plan, you can go down and click for the gold. The gold plan, the two big highlights for the gold plan are the mini assessment and McCarthy Math 155. You do get this video, the breaking down the best ad free, which is a nice little perk for being a gold member, but these videos are available on YouTube as well, just with ads. So let's take a look at the mini assessment. We have a variety of question types. Notice it says show what you know. So your county might provide you with mini assessments or require you to give and administer these assessments of their choosing. So you can just use these as extra practice if you want, and that's totally fine. Just showing what you know or a great practice test and a variety of question types. They're usually about four to five questions just to get a good idea of where they are with the standard, okay? So then you have your answer key. And then you also have access to McCarthy Math 155 with the gold plan, which was the daily math intervention that I created for the Common Core Standards. The 155 stands for 155 video lessons. So although this does not align specifically with the best standards, there's a lot that you can pull from. And I think, yeah. With patterns in this pattern unit, there are some odd even videos. So I'm gonna click on that unit and just see what we've got. Got some in out boxes, got odd and even here, just a little bit of extra practice, but it's not just extra practice there with odd and even numbers that you can take a look at. It doesn't specifically address the determine if it's odd or even and why that AR.3.1 does but these will help build that skill if you have students that need more help with it. Okay. All right. So I think that is it for all the resources that you have access to with your membership, whether you have the bronze, the silver, or the gold plan. Now you know what you have access to and how it aligns specifically with 3.ar.2.3.1. Sorry. Um, with that said, before you go, let me remind you that what you choose to do with your life every day, it really does matter. Thank you for stepping up to be the leader that you are, to show kids what it looks like to be the best version of yourself so that they can step up their own game and step into the best version of themselves. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey, a part of your student's journey. I do not take that lightly. It really does make, like, I love I love what I get to do and how I get to support you. So thank you so much. I know you're busy. I value your time. So I'm going to let you go and I will see you next time. This is like a Disney wave. Bye. Okay. So I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. Okay. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best. <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye.